Welcome to this special SOR Class Wars YouTube presentation. We'd like to thank our friends at Beyond Wrestling for providing this platform for us today as we present to you a special two out of three falls partner swap tag team match as we pit the fiery young rookie duo of the Phoenix Dale Patricks and female phenom Heidi Loveless against one of the most feared young trios in professional wrestling today, Trip Cassidy. Reed Bentley, and Big Sue Jackson, known simply as The League. We'll go into the underlying rivalries and hatred throughout the contest, but a quick explanation of the rules. The winning team will have to win two falls, as with any two out of three falls contest. However, what makes this match unique is the partner swap stipulation. Since The League is obviously a three-man unit, they can only have two wrestlers active at all times. Between falls, they must swap out one partner, and they cannot repeat any duo. Also, as with any School of Rock Tag Team contest, we do employ the Lucha Tag rules. You can either slap your partner's hand or slide out of the ring in order to tag out. If you like what you see in this match, be sure to subscribe to the SOR Class Wars YouTube channel featuring weekly free wrestling content such as features, full matches, and our groundbreaking Class Wars web series at youtube.com slash school of rock wrestling. Without any further ado, let's go to the ring for the special SOR Class Wars matchup here on the Beyond Wrestling YouTube channel. I'm Gary Ready? Let's go. Here we go, Trip Cassidy, Heidi Loveless starting off this two out of three falls tag team match. Cassidy and Bentley, the first duo for fall number one. Cassidy, as we saw at Beyond Wrestling's Double Trouble event in the month of June, not very fond of Heidi, doesn't think much of her due to her gender, which is quite unfortunate, like the rest of them. Double knuckle lock there by Cassidy, taking advantage of the size disadvantage that she comes in with. The power down with the knuckle lock. She'd be best served to keep her shoulder off the mat like that. Gets it down to Cassidy. Big kip up. Heidi Mexican catapult. Give her room and she explodes. What's this? Sandwich slam reversed into an arm drag. Cassidy being sent all over the place. Cassidy wants Dale Patrick's in. These two have quite the history. As we see Big Sue Jackson creeping around ringside. He's coming in for fall number two. These two at one point up until about the month of April or May were roommates. They worked out together. But you get these two around wrestling. Trip Cassidy, even though he's only been in the sport for three years, single leg Trip goes over. Hot and heavy action here. Even though Trip's only been in the sport for a very short time, cuts him off with the boot. He's treating Dale as if he's, you know, quote unquote, a young boy. Dale, however, throwing that back into his face with the big arm drag off the ropes. Cassidy having none of that tags in Reed Bentley, the black sheep of the School of Rock. He's gotten bunched in with all these wrestlers despite the fact that he didn't train here. Heidi Loveless and Reed Bentley in the ring now. These two had quite the exchange at Double Trouble back in June. As he shoves her back into the corner to Bentley. And we see Dale Patrick's back in the ring. Reed Bentley slapping the face, my goodness. These two are going back and forth, hot and heavy with the forearms, oh my. Dale Patrick says that never say die attitude, never say quit, never let your opponent get a mile on you. Constantly in your face, he's gonna get the front face lock here, drops him with the DDT. Dale Patrick goes for the cover, hooks the leg, only a two count. Dale debuted in the month of December, has been all over the country since then. Quite the progression for the young rookie. Snapping out of the corners, he has tagged in Heidi. A double trouble kick. Gets Bentley on both sides of the upper torso. John Calvin really needs to be enforcing the five count. He's a young referee, however. What a gourd buster combo there. Two over the two count. That's the thing about the School of Rock, as you see Big Sue Jackson once again is that the wrestlers are young. 
you know, the camera operators are young into the sport. John Calvin, the referee, very young into the sport. My goodness, what a forearm. He's gonna nail her again. Heidi, however, is gonna throw it back into his face. Oh my. Heidi with the Irish whip, big arm drag. He uses the momentum to bring Bentley down to the canvas. Gonna try to neutralize that arm so that he cannot nail her with the Reed Awakening pop-up forearm that he knocked her out with in Cleveland back in June. You can see that move maneuver here on this very YouTube channel. As Bentley gets out of the armbar, Irish whip, reversal, nope, another reversal coming there from Bentley. She gets cut off with the boot in the stomach. And another arm drag. Heidi Loveless is on fire in this match so far. Much like Beyond Wrestling, we do believe that men and women are equals in that ring. And Heidi Loveless is proving that to be fact. Bentley gets the shoulder up. Dale Patrick did tweet earlier before this contest that his team, in fact, has a surprise to possibly even up the odds in this match as the league has three competitors. But Dale comes in even up the odds by himself. I don't know if necessarily if that's the surprise he tweeted about. Nonetheless, John Calvin needs to get control of this thing. Big pump kick. I think Bentley's out cold. Get the cover, Heidi. One, two, and that's it. First fall goes to the team with Dale Patrick and Heidi Loveless. What an action-packed first fall. They have the advantage coming in. Dale Patrick, who might want to turn around. Big Sue Jackson knocks him down with the forearm. Big Sue Jackson, if you've never seen him before, the 366-pound madman from Thumps, Tennessee. Dropping all that weight down onto Dale's stomach. And another elbow drop. He knows how to effectively use his weight, and he has deceiving speed. Very good sprint speed almost. He can get close to you, and then he charges right at you with all that weight. Plows right through you, has Dale up, and the fireman's carry. Somehow and drop. We've seen this one from the league before. Dale, brother Tripp's going to go for the senton, and then Big Sue with the senton of his own. Cover. And Heidi Loveless right there as Dale's guardian angel breaking up the pinfall. Dale Patricks and Big Sue Jackson have had in history as we see Reed Bentley at ringside. Peasy is hold coming up. Death grip there by Jackson. These two wrestled in the semifinals of the very first SOR Cup tournament. Dale brought the fight to Sue, but Sue beat him in under four minutes. Impressive performance by Sue. As we see the view there from the league corner. Dale at times has been known to be fearful of Sue. And he gets dropped like a bad habit. That's why. That's why you have to be scared of a guy like Big Sue Jackson. That overwhelming power as Cassidy letting out all that aggression he has towards Patrick's in the center of the ring. Cassidy and Jackson obviously want this fall over quickly. Pounding towards the side of the head and a big knee drop. Not much technique here from Cassidy. Is that the hurt nail? Tripp and Rita had some issues in the past couple of months. All stemming from both of them wanting to win the SOR Cup at Double Trouble. Dale using the, using the window of opportunity to fight back. Gonna come off the ropes. Gonna go for the Tornado DDT, but gets caught. Cassidy, big back elbow. Trip Cassidy, a participant in this year's Chikara Young Lions Cup tournament. And it's because of maneuvers like this, getting them up in the corner, knife edge chop. And looks like, yes, the don't be a hero knee strike. What a dynamic maneuver, two and three. The league have tied it up one to one. And Cass Cassidy won't get out of the ring. He needs to get out of the ring. He's, he's gone two falls in a row. Ray Bentley getting in there. Problems between the league mounting. Let's see Jackson getting out of that mess. Going right after Dale. Fall through the, the next pinfall or submission wins this one. What aggression off that Beal. Big C gonna come off the ropes and he's gonna steamroll him. 
Jackson needs to go for the cover, and he does, and Heidi once again breaks up the pinfall. Heidi Loveless has acted multiple times as the match saver for Dale, but he really needs to get that, that all-important attack. He needs to get out of the ring. Reed Bentley with the big forearm to the spine. Hard hitter of the week right there. Reed Bentley with those precision, those amazing forearms. As we see, they're on display. Hooking Dale. Dale knows what's coming. The butterfly catcher tried to stop it, but couldn't. Cover from Bentley. And Heidi breaks it up again. Heidi Loveless. Quite frankly, if Dale and Heidi win this, Dale really needs to thank Heidi for saving his butt. Big forearm nut from Bentley. Dale Patrick's on wobbly legs and he fights back. Not a lot to that one. Bentley cuts him off. Gonna go for the side suplex. Dale Patrick somehow lands on his feet, stumbles back to the corner and gets Heidi in the ring. Drop kick from Heidi. The fresh wrestler in the ring knocking Reed Bentley around with those drop kicks and a come off the ropes. What a head scissors from Heidi Loveless. She's on fire. Ipasso from Bentley. She's going to come off the ropes and drive him on his head with that Hurricane Rana cover. And what's this Trip Cassidy on the apron making the distraction? That's Remy Wilkins. Could that be the surprise that Dale tweeted about earlier this week? Remy Wilkins, the SOR cup holder, a man who has lots of issues with Trip Cassidy, evening the odds. Big Sue Jackson gets knocked into the corner. Reed Bentley distracted. They need to go. They need to do something here. Sunset flip possibly from Dale. She kicks the legs up. Heidi going to roll through possibly. Bridge. And they got it. Dale Patrick's and Heidi Loveless have defeated the league. Two out of three falls. What a contest. Dale and Heidi have done it. We thank you so much for joining us here on the Beyond Wrestling YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter at SOR Class Wars. And of course, follow all the hot action on youtube.com slash school of rock wrestling. We once again thank Beyond Wrestling for this opportunity to showcase our action. We will hopefully see you soon, including